Welcome back to In the Closet with us. No, you welcome back to In the Closet. Welcome. You, you welcome were, to me back in the closet. You were gone for an episode. Yeah, I was gone. It was a little short trip with my homie. And I had to take it on by myself, and it's not nearly as interesting without you here. I would guarantee that's true. It's just, it's hard to do one by yourself. You ought to try it. That's what she said. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um, yeah. I had to skip out. You went to a Steelers yeah. game. Was it fun? It was. It was a blast. It was a good time. Not necessarily because it was the Steelers, but because it was in a different location with someone I don't get to hang out with that often. And it was spontaneous. It was Those trips are always fun. Very spontaneous. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, he was shocked. He thought I was messing with him. He's like, really, dude? I've got to buy these tickets. And this was like, he hit me up Wednesday afternoon, like at 3 or 4, I think. And the game was Thursday. Uh-huh. And he was like, dude, I know this is crazy, but I'm 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 in Pittsburgh, and I'm going to get tickets to the game if you, if you want to come up and go. And he, this guy's from Georgia. He's, he's a good friend. Um, and I was like, I don't know, man. Let me see what's on my calendar. And then I, um, I, my calendar looked good. I had to move some things around. Then I um, hit up Ange and was like, yo, I think it got me a ticket to, to a Steelers game. And she was like, had a little attitude because I said the word Steelers. <laughs> So you were like, you were like, yeah, when? Like, I, I don't know if she knew the day. And I was like, Thursday, tomorrow night, Thursday night football. She's like, oh, okay. And I was like, all right, she's cool. Which she, she usually is, as long as there's like no like yeah. conflicts. And I was like, basically like, what are we doing tomorrow night? Is there anything going on? The kids need covered or do you need help? Because I want to go up to the Steers game, hang with Spence. Um And she's like, no, that's cool. And that's what, what Spencer was like. I was like, I text him back like within probably... I don't know, 45 minutes or so. I said, yeah, man, grab the tickets. I'm coming. And he was like, he he, did, he wouldn't believe me. Right. So he was like, you, uh, you good with work and everything? I was like, yeah. He's like, did you run it by your wife? I was like, yeah. <laughs> oh. I told her. She's cool. He was like, all right. So. I mean, what's the big deal? We've been together forever. I mean, what? Yeah. Well, we want each other to have fun. And two, Enjoy life, right? Yeah. I mean, if I ever had that happen to me, which I have never, probably will never, except for my parents that one time when they wanted yeah, me to Yeah, stuff's happened. You've, you've yeah, gone I off mean, to Lexington last minute. And... Have I now? No, I've never done that. anything last minute like well, that. Well, Other maybe than not with last my minute. parents to Gatlinburg that one year. That was kind of last minute. But, I mean, yeah, you should. You, you, need, you need to. You, everybody needs to have fun. Yeah, I never, I never got it unless there's just like people just being upset because somebody gets to do something. It's like brother sister fights. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like you get mad. I mean, I understand if it's like, hey, I'm gonna go out of town with my girlfriend for the weekend. Right. I mean, I understand you get mad about that. Yeah, it probably wouldn't happen. That's something to get upset about. But me going to hang with my boys. Um, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. There's, there's part of you that's like. You know, and I did this to myself. I mean, I didn't dwell on it at all, but I'm like, it must be nice. You know, I never get those calls. I never have friends I get to go off with, but I don't take that out. That's not your fault. Yeah, I don't I don't hear about that. It's not your fault because if I did have friends to go, if I did, I mean, I have friends. That sounds really pathetic, but you know what I'm saying? Like if, if some of my girlfriends called me up, but the reason women don't do that as much is because we, we well, I don't, I don't know how to say this without. You have a lot of responsibility. We have more to juggle, and I guess. you guys. With it, when it comes to the home life, you guys are kind of like the quarterbacks, right? Like the control that you got, you got the control of all the schedules and making sure the kids are yeah. So it's like you almost rather say no to something that comes up spontaneously because the anxiety it creates. Because yeah. you've got a, you've got. I don't have to really. I used to be like that. I used to have a lot more anxiety over stuff like that. Oh, you yeah, you did. Like I'm if I threw that on than... you, if I threw that on you in our twenties, you would be a mess. For... Because the kids were little, though. Yeah, but I did it then too. But you, and you were I... you would be a mess for a day, and then you'd be like, okay, right. But, I'm all right. But it's mainly you know? because it's mainly because the kids were little then, and and they were a lot harder to take care of. I mean, us here, you being gone sucks. I don't like it. I don't like it, especially at bedtime. But I mean, 
other than just me not having anybody to hang out with, there's there's really no more for me to do. It, 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 do you know what I'm saying? Like, there's not baths I have to give. I don't yeah. have to feed the kids. I mean, I feed them. I, you fix their dinner, but they feed them. So you know what I'm saying? Right. And tuck them in. I don't tuck them in anymore, you know? So there's really not that much I have to do, except the main thing is a stupid dog. I and turning on the TV. And I don't know how to turn. Okay, I don't know how to turn on the TV. <laughs> I don't. Somebody asked me, was it you? I guess you, I don't, did you ask me if I was, somebody asked me, maybe Chaz went to the game too. Maybe he sent me a message and said, are you watching the game? I was like, I don't know how to turn the TV on. Nobody believes me. Yeah, it wasn't me. When is the last time you saw a remote control in my hand? I never, anytime I come home, like if I, if I'm out with someone or if I'm playing ball or if I do something and I come home at night. It can be 8 o'clock. It can be 11 o'clock. When I walk into the room, you're sitting on the couch, and you're either, like, working on something on the iPad or something. You're never watching TV. I sometimes You have music, music on yes, in the background. Music. But I just don't – I don't really get into watching TV that much because the only time I watch TV is when you and I watch our shows. Well, I'm not going to – we have certain shows that we watch. Well, I'm not going to watch a show without you. That's sweet. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to watch American Horror Story or – you know, we, we, whatever else we watch without you, because then you're going to, you know. I have, but, but, I have a friend that's, he gets so mad because his wife does that. She's no, like, I'm not going to watch She's like you. home during the day and they have a show and she'll be like, just catch up. He's like, you're like five episodes ahead now. Yeah. We're supposed to watch it together. That's no fun. He's like, I've got to work. Like, right. And so then at night they're watching something else and he can't catch up. And yeah. he's like. And she just won't wait on me. I was like, nah, we don't really. I, I find so, the, the good thing for me is you're selective on what you watch. So I am. if you're not watching it with me, I've got all kinds of other stuff to watch. Yeah, I don't. I'm not a big TV watcher. It's really weird. I don't mind if it's on and I like to watch it. But it's it's if I have free time, I don't go straight to the TV. Now, I will say this. If we had regular cable and I knew how to turn it on and there wasn't like four remotes. There's not. There's one. There's two. At least two. There's two, but we have DirecTV now. It's just like cable. It's the same. It's All you not, have to do is get it on okay. and start moving through the channels. No, it's not the same, A. It's not the same. You With with the, with the um, with regular cable, you have one remote that has the power, the volume, the channel that you change. You know the buttons that if you want to punch in the thing, and the and the re, and the and the, where you can record it. What's that called? DVR or whatever it's called. <laughs> this out here, you have this teeny tiny little remote. I'm afraid. It's the Apple remote. I'm afraid I'm going to break it. You're not. And then this other remote. I don't. That's I, just no, to turn on the TV. Use, if, okay, I don't know which one does it. The TV came on by itself the other day. That's downstairs. You don't need but one remote downstairs. And we only I, have one there's down there. not a power button on that remote You don't. Control. You just hit the button. It automatically turns the no, TV on. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. Jeff, I hit that button in a minute. You got to give up. it a... Right, and then you go out and you go to the... Go out where? <laughs> just, Why can't I just... You hit the menu button to get to the main screen. See, this is too and much. And then you I go to just, Netflix or you go to DirecTV Now. I don't or know Or you go to, to Hulu. How do you turn it off? That you just let it. You just go back to the main menu. You can go up and turn off the TV, or you can use the other remote, or you can just let it. Oh, you said it. But I don't know where it is because downstairs we we it's been gone for like six months. But I just want a button that you pick a remote control up and it says power, and you push it, and if the TV's on, it goes off. If the TV's off, it comes on. Then when it comes on, you just push the channel button up or the channel button down to find your channel, or you push the menu. And the menu pops up and you can find what you want. Because what I'm getting at is if it were that simple like it used to be back in the day, I would probably watch HGTV while you're gone. Mm. Or the Food Network. Like something that I can just have on in the background while I'm doing my social media or painting my fingernails. Do you know what I'm saying? You know what you can do on that TV, on these TVs though? You can just hold it down and say, and Siri will come on you say. Which button would I hold down, sir? Because there's a, there's a little mouth a recording button. You hold it down. You punch it, and you say, "Turn on Directv now." When we get off this podcast, I'm going to go down there and I'm going to see if it's that easy. You're acting like I'm a stupid little toddler that doesn't know how to work the freaking TV. You just won't try, which I probably am. <laughs> I will try. I have tried. I got so frustrated before because I had to call you on Facetime and you had to walk me through it. 
Anyway. I love being needed. You are needed. <laughs> I just as soon not watch it and just leave it off and, and listen to music. But anyway. I'm glad you're back. Welcome back. Thanks. I have added an addition to In the Closet. Do you like it? It's it's the ambiance of a candle. Do you smell it? Looks like a candle. Here's the thing with this candle. It's from Michael's. And it's the, a big 17-ounce jar candle. So it's one of the bigger ones. And I got it for three thirty three. I got this candle for $3.33, which is why it smells good only when you put your nose right next to it and you almost burn your nostril Here's hairs. Here's the problem. You want to know the problem I have with that? You almost burn your nostril hairs. For I smell three, it. To manufacture a candle that you can sell for $3, you're killing us right now. That Who knows what toxic crap's in that blue I know, stuff. and we're shut up in this little room. I mean, <laughs> and I'm painting my fingernails, so we have that aroma. The and house smells very, great, but we is, died at 60 from freaking... This, this uh, nail polish is probably flammable as well. So Ooh, let's see. It's hard to tell what's going to happen here. And I, I, I don't know. And I have to put my readers on to paint my nails these days because I'm getting old. But anyways, there's something. Dude, I've got. Th- Do you have something? This is great. I have, I have one of my newer agents, clients, that was in my office not long ago. He's a wild man. He cracks me up, man. He's he's a big bourbon drinker, so we got to get together and have some bourbon. But he, well, actually, we were holding that that seminar and him and another crazy agent insurance agents are freaking crazy I, I know you tell me stories and I'm beginning to believe you. so this guy he's you know he builds this fire pit okay outside right oh yeah but it's Obviously. huge it's it was a project like he had to get a permit for he like dug up in the backyard Dang. it's a huge pad like it's like all stone and then he put in underneath it he put in piping underneath it to come through and go up under it so that he doesn't have to do anything to keep the flame going. The oxygen gets pulled through so it keeps the... Is it a wood-burning one? Like or Yeah, is it fi- yeah. Is it- it's like a pit on the ground. Like, he, he built all this stone around it and he built a big, you know, the circle pit and then he had dug a trench underneath it before he put the concrete in with pipes going out the other end, like a drain almost. And it sucks the airflow through, okay. and that way you don't have to you don't have to like keep it going, you know, keep poking it to keep going. It keeps the air coming up through and keeps the flames going. Well, you know what this guy did? They're out there drinking. These oh, two. Gosh. He's like, yeah. He was over at the house the other night, and we were drinking, and we were talking about the, the pipe when it, and <laughs> and it's dark, and he goes and he gets his freaking uh, what do you call it? Leaf blower. Oh my gosh. Gets the leaf blower and goes down there because they have a big fire going. And they're like, let's do it. Let's, let's. So they put the leaf blower to the end of the the the, the pipe to the, blow smoke through up through the fire. Yeah. And it was pretty awesome. You just, you just like, boom, like fire just flying up. Where they, I can picture these crazy guys doing yeah, this. It's like middle aged, 40 something year old guys uh-huh. acting like college kids again, doing weird things. Yeah. It's, that's dudes at all ages, at all professional levels. Why do guys like fire so much? Fire's amazing. I can't, I can't even grill on the grill. Like, we have that, we have the, even when we use gas, but especially when we use the charcoal grill, like, the flames coming up scare the crap out of me. I don't like it. I can't do it. I don't like fire. It scares me. Yeah, dudes have have a love for fire. They're pyromaniacs is what and you And danger. Are. Pyromaniacs is what you are. Sort of. Sort of. No, you are. You like fire. Fire, fire. Fire. So, um, what else do you want to talk about? You want to talk about how you haven't listened to me all day? Well, I don't know what's up with you today. I've, I'm, I've got some kind of blockage. Well, we need to get you fixed. I know. Because... Like, I say something, and, like, three minutes later, you ask a question, and if you would have been listening to me, you would have known the answer to. And it's really frustrated me today. I'm just going to be honest with you. Where'd this come from? I'm going to be honest with you. You talk to yourself a lot, though, and everybody else, so sometimes I kind of forget that you're talking. You always use that excuse. You're like, well, I don't know if you're talking to me or talking to yourself. (laughs) I don't know. And he said this one before, too. (laughs) You talk so much, I just, I just, you know, I don't ever know when to really listen. (laughs) It's just not, that's not funny. And you repeat yourself so much, I don't remember things because I know that I don't need to. We've established this, that I repeat myself often. And why do I repeat myself often? Because of this stuff that you're doing today. Right. 
Because I don't know if you hear me or not. No, because I don't have to, because I can always ask. Oh, my gosh. Because you'll remember it. No, but when you ask, like, literally 30 seconds after my conversation, and if you would have listened to the conversation, you wouldn't have needed to ask the question. Okay, but I don't know. I think sometimes you're messing with me. I don't know if you really said that stuff or no, if you're just trying to make me feel like no, I'm crazy. No, honestly, that happened in the kitchen. We were talking about Christmas and that you were like, the kids get all week off for Christmas. I said, yeah. And I was like, Christmas is on a Tuesday. Christmas is even on as a Monday. But really, they get, you know, the Saturday, Sunday. And you were like, no, when is Christmas Day See, this year? all of that right there confused me. You were going all <laughs> over the place. I couldn't keep up. You're not dumb. <laughs> Quit acting dumb. <laughs> Quit. <laughs> Gosh, Runyon. You're aggravating sometimes. But, I know, man. You know, it happens. It happens. My bad. I can be I can be aggravating, too. Huh? I can be aggravating. You can be. So can I. I know I can. I know. I'm sorry. I can be aggravating, It happens. Too. Okay. Well, is that something that... Um, and here's here's part of why you're doing that today. Because I'm like, dude, you're in your phone. Like, what is going on? And you're like, I'm negotiating a deal. And I'm thinking he's talking like work. And I'm like, oh, okay, you're working? No, a trade. A trade for your league and you don't know if it's going to go through. And you're really kind of stressed about it. I think it just went through. I mean, oh, I'm, I'm well. like dead. If I got to win my last four games to get in the playoffs, I need a huge, I need a big trade. I did a big trade earlier in the week, but one of the guys is on by this week. So I took him because he's the number one receiver in the league, and I'm trading him for a lesser player because I got to win this week. I've got to win this week. Oh, okay. Well, then. And I'm already down because guess what? Freaking people that played in Thursday night football for the other guy, one guy had like 19 points, and the other guy had like 35, which is insane. None of this makes sense. So to I'm me. in a hole. I'm in a huge hole. I'm down 35 to 10 going into tomorrow. I mean, I don't... I'm, okay. I'm sorry. I've been here before, though. I've been here before, You'll and I will back. and deal, and I and I make it happen. That's why I'm the king. You'll come back. I'm the champ. I will, I will somehow... I don't know. This is a pretty deep hole. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Runyon. You'll be fine, and if not, March Madness is unfortunately right around the corner. You'll redeem yourself that way. You make about 527 brackets, but we'll talk about that at another time when it's closer to March, but just saying. I don't know. I only make brackets for the... the, the Son, you do. You have like a million brackets. Well, I went from 582 to a million, but you yeah, have a lot I, of brackets. Well, that's One of them surely is going to win something. No, because I, they're in different leagues. Anyway. So they're usually all the same bracket, just submitted to different leagues. Oh, Different, like, work one, my league one. I see. Like, okay. you know, all that. So it's usually I, the, the same type of Listen, pick. I don't get into any of this stuff. I don't, it's it's all good. Whatever. You do you, boo. Thanks, boo. You do you. See, he's in his, he's in his I'm, stuff I was now. getting ready to. He's in his King Geoff, that's your name, and your league, and he's in it right now. So now he's tuned out of the podcast. So now everybody listening, you, you're going to feel how I feel. He won't be here for a minute, and you and I are going to talk, and then he's going to come on and be like, say something. Like, totally not here right now. Oh, you're back. Hi. I'm totally here. You are not lying. I am totally here. <laughs> lie, lie, lie. Like a dog. We got all kinds Speaking of people. Speaking of our dog. Uh-huh. I just said lie like a dog. Our dog this morning made me mad, but I'm not going to go into details because I'm going to get fired up about it again. But it's another reason to not have an animal. I agree. She made a mess. That's all I'm going to say that I had to wake up to. And now I got, and it's just, she, she drove me crazy while you were gone. Then she ran off again this morning. I'm about over it, Runyon. I told you we didn't need a puppy. I talked about this in my solo podcast. You did? Yes. I was really mad at you and Brooke and Nate for bringing a puppy when I said I don't want a damn puppy. Mm -hmm. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. But she's making continuously making mess after mess after mess after mess, and I'm over it. That's all. She's just a puppy, which we were not supposed to have. But oh, oh gosh, that's not anything to do with the league. Jeff's phone went off. Listen, 
you know it's crazy right now people are at our old college celebrating our 20th years I know 20 year anniversary 1998 we graduated it's 2018 we should have gone up just for the day we should have just got up early drove up there and came back no I don't like doing stuff like that I know you don't that's why we didn't do it that's like I was. I have to stay at least at night. Like I. Plus, like, I didn't think about it. But listen, it would have been good to go up there, just go today, go to Columbus and stay the night. That's Because you're definitely not going to get a, a hotel room around Mount Vernon. No, not today. Not in that little um, town. I cannot believe that we have been out of college for twenty years. That makes me feel. We should have so old. Gone back, and we should have. Dang it, we should have got ahead of the game. We should have got in the closet t shirts, in the closet stickers, <laughs> in the closet hats, and take them to your old radio station and put them on the wall. I know. You could have said, Look at me now. And you could have told all those incoming freshmen, or not incoming, the freshmen and the people in the. You said, Gather these freaking people up, all these broadcast majors. Angie Wynn. Runyon is coming back, and I'm going to give them an inspiring speech of how oh, yes. they are going to use this degree. Shut up! You're 20 making... years later. They're going to they're going to use it. You're making fun of me. I but... was I was actually broadcaster of the year. No, you were. I'm back saying back in the day, but you graduated. I did graduate, and then now, and... 20 years later, you're actually recording. But something. I'm not. Here's the thing: I do have a degree in broadcasting. However, I'm not using it. Monetary, like I'm not getting paid. It's going for to be monetary. <laughs> I've got stacks of applications from advertisers begging us to let them be on our podcast. I'm sure you. I just do. haven't had a chance to go through them yet. Right. The contracts, all the, oh, the small print, all the red tape, the yes. fine print. You know, I don't. And I don't want to negotiate. No. Play them against each other. No, but it is. It is funny though to think back. You know, because when I was in college, I, I, I was on the radio station. I had a morning show with the person and. We were in it, and I, then you graduate, and it's just gone. You know, you're I, when you don't use your degree, it's just it kind of. It's not gone. It. You're good. You know what I'm saying? Like you got for, a natural talent to, for for many. Like you know, and I use my broadcasting too in my personal training because I do my videos yeah, and true. kind of things like that. So I'm comfortable in front of the camera. I feel like I can relate to people, but sometimes you're like, I'm paying on my school loan, still, and I'm not getting paid. In the field that I went to school for. You know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. anyway, that's neither here nor there. It is crazy. I was on Facebook. I was scrolling through some of the pictures. You know, people kind of looked at... Some people looked the same. Some people looked different. You know, and, and it would have been fun to go. But it, it's... And maybe we say this every year. Maybe we'll go next year. But it's just... We don't ever go. But we... we this, I know. This was I love our that year place, to go, too. But I do, too. I love that place. I do, too. But... Some of the greatest memories. I I, ha- I, I agree. Sure. Some of my greatest memories is from college. Um... And, and I, if I had to, go, if you had to go back in time, I saw this on, no, this was on um, Snapchat, that one of those stupid games, Would You Rather, mm-hmm. relive, what was it, go back in time 10 years or go forward in time 10 years? <laughs> Obviously, I'd rather go, I don't want to, I don't want to wish my time away, but if you could go back in time, let's just say childhood like elementary school years middle Ooh. school years high school years college years or right after we got married and had kids years now don't it's not a trick question i'm not going to get mad and to just relive like five of those years and then you would jump right back to where you are oh now. as long as you jump right back yeah and you don't miss the other ones no you just yeah. jump back like you, it would be hard not to go to the college i agree years. i totally agree and you know what's funny about that like we're so much more liberal and we're more like conservative then and like it was a different like people think I was telling somebody this the other day because they were like oh you where'd you go to college oh I know that college isn't it like really like strict and I'm like yeah it is compared to like WBU or Marshall or it's any like college that's not yeah WBU. but you know what I told him I was like d- literally I would go back there I mean I, I drink now I have fun now. I had fun then. I, I had a blast then. The thing is, is like there, that's what people are crazy about. They're like, so I told them, you have 
girls' apartments and guys' apartments. You have girls' dorms. You have guys' dorms. You have common areas. You have areas mm-hmm. where you can play games and you can you can hang out and eat. And you can you can do all that stuff, but you can't have them in your hallways or on your floors or in your rooms. And I said, I love that. Yeah, I love that because I knew once I once I got into the hallway yep. and into my dorm, dorm, like the side door. I knew that I could strip down to my boxers and run around that hallway, hang out with the guys. Yeah. And you know what? I didn't have some freaking guy's girlfriend. Right. My buddy's girlfriend in our room 24-7. Right. So I love yeah. knowing that I had that safe haven. You know, I agree too. Because it was like every night was guy's night. Every night was girl's night. So yeah. You, you were, were stuck and you were having And, and I, I agree. I love that too because with for the same reason. Like I want to, if I want to sit around, which I'm, I, I was back then, I'm not so much now, but back then I was a very modest person. You know, so I wouldn't have been sitting around and just my underwear or something. But if you wanted to, or you need, you'd have, yeah, that would be a pain to have like. Well, your you know how people are. Significant other. They can't leave them for two seconds. No. They're in there constantly well, or we, in freaking. We also, though, it'd be a little bit different now because we also didn't have um, cell phones when we were in college. No, we did not. So you truly were, unless you got on your dorm phone that was connected to the wall and talked to your girlfriend all night. You know, you truly did were just with the guys, and I saw oh. you the next day, and it and it was kind of nice. Now, now present day, at that college, it's probably a little different That's in the true. fact that they have cell phones, they can FaceTime, you know, yeah. and things like that. But still, it's, it's kind of nice. So it's like I would tell you goodbye. There. Like it might be eight, it might be nine. Yeah, you know what I mean. We'd had curfews too. So yeah, so we couldn't go during well, we the week. It was out, what eleven. Yeah, and then on the weekends it was like twelve thirty. Yeah. And it was like, I knew, I was like... Unless we snuck I out. Would, I would like leave, I'd say bye to you, go in at whatever time. And it was like, what up, boys? And we would goof off and I would be, you know, you'd be like, the next day you might be like, hey, I tried to call you last night. I'd be like, I was down the hall in Keener's room till yeah. 3 a.m., you know, or whatever. Yeah, and I and it was kind of nice for me because I knew you weren't with did he but i mean you right. went out unless you snuck out and went yeah. but likely of that was slim and i mean you did you snuck out more than i did because i was in we RA did all the for time the majority, i was in ra for the majority of the time i was there i was there in ra for three years yeah you were you were. so i mean i had to kind of walk the line of not doing anything too out of control we did but, crazy stuff we snuck out and but what we did is we would sneak out and cause trouble like we snuck out and we'd take the tires off the security van <laughs> or security jeep. We would move the goalposts. Yeah. You know, we would take the stop signs. We would. You're a little hellion. We would um, get the security people, which were just another college students, to chase us. You know, like yeah. stupid stuff, which was a lot of fun, though. I mean, nobody drank. Yeah. We didn't. I didn't drink till I was out of college. Right. I mean, you think people think how in the world did you have fun in college if you didn't drink? I was like. You know, if I didn't go there, I would say the same thing. But not, but but going there, like right. I was like, you know, we just never even thought about it. No, not at all. It was never a thing because that wasn't our thing then. We, yeah, we like I mean, you said, we didn't start having drinks until after we had Maddie. Now it's hard for me to have fun without drinking. Yeah. Well, no, I mean I still can, but I still, you know, I'm a wife. No, I can too. But I mean, it's like it's not. But I think we're more responsible because we started drinking later in life. Like we never have had issues with drinking. Oh like, gosh, where no. we've been like. I mean, we've had our nights, but not where it's like a lot of people are like, well, yeah, I would, you know, this happened or that happened or I can't remember this happened. They say right. that. I think you're just where we we didn't have those moments before we were 25, 26 where you just. Yeah. Ugh. I don't think I would have gotten through college as successful as I did if I if I drink. Now, I don't know. Maybe I would because I, I think that probably in college I wouldn't drink wine every night like I do now because I use I use wine now every night as kind of um, my um, medication, so to speak. So I don't have to take <laughs> medication because of all the craziness right, yeah. I have in my life, um, especially at times like we've had over the past couple of weeks. We've had some really trying couple of weeks. Um, so I would have had all of that back in college. But, you know, I don't know. I, I probably would have had to I wouldn't have made as good grades I wouldn't have made I definitely probably wouldn't have as close to the relationships as I had because you know you sit around and talk you don't pass out you know what I'm saying so I think it all worked out great and I agree with you I would have to go back in time I would definitely pick those years again as well that says a lot too really yeah you know that says a lot and that's that's another thing that's kind of 
cool is like you know you have these you have chemistry with people when I think of college and the friendships I made there like I think of certain people mm-hmm. that I'll be that I'll be friends with till the day I die that I don't talk to even right like I I like the 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 chemistry and bond like I have with Keener yeah like he's my best friend he's one of my very best friends and I talk to him maybe once or twice a year and and I'll, I mean, but if he called, if something happened and he called tomorrow, I'd be on my way to Lancaster, Ohio. Oh, sure. In the middle of the night. Sure. Because, I, I mean, we spent those years together and we were roommates and we just met each other. Yeah. Two West Virginia guys. He's from up uh, Wellsburg. I'm from down here. And it just was like, it's just weird when you like hit it off with something. You have like yeah. this kindred spirit thing going on. Now, I don't, I don't think I have any friends from college like that. I mean, I'm not saying that I don't have friends from college that I wouldn't go to if they needed me. That's not what I mean. But like. If I ran into people from college, it might take me a minute to get re. Now I have people from elementary school. Yeah, you and have middle school. really cool relationships from that. I mean, and so that th- those years would have been hard for me to pick, like either go back to like my my yeah, grade school yeah. or that. But um, because I mean that's how Virgil is with me. I have a friend Tara. That's the same way. I have a friend Stacy. I mean, I have like tons of my friends from like I said elementary school and middle school. Even though middle school was a very trying time. Um. That that's my relationships like that. That we do not miss a beat, you know. But I can't really think of anything, anybody from college like that. I mean, I loved my roommate. I'm not saying that. I loved Casey was my roommate. I loved her to death. And I, but I haven't talked to her in forever. And I don't, I don't, I haven't talked to her since we graduated, really. Mm-mm. No, maybe her wedding. I mean, she got married. That's and true. Yeah. I talked to her for, you know, a few months after that. And we just kind of lost connection. So Disconnected. I don't see myself just picking up exactly where I left off. But maybe I would. I would. I don't know. I've not, I've not seen her. Right. So, but no, I mean, college. Yeah, I, mean, I keep, And we keep trying to tell Maddie this, our, our daughter who's getting ready to go to college. Like, she is so in love with high school right now. And I'm glad that she is. Like, she's really loving high school. And she's dreading not being there. And I'm like, Maddie. You're going to look back and be like, high school was, I mean, you're going to have your friends. I get it. Like, you'll probably, you know, always be friends, probably not as close as you are. But your best years are yet to come in college, you know. That's what I try to tell her. And she won't listen. She thinks I'm crazy. I was just like her, though. Because I I remember leaving thinking this was like. Oh, I I couldn't wait to get out of No, I know you couldn't. But, you, you know, where I grew up here. Yeah. So it's like I come to the end of my high school and I think, oh, this sucks. Life's over, yeah. It's, I'm going to be an adult now. I'm going to, I'm going into, I'm going into college. It's going to be, by the freaking end of my first semester in college, I didn't even remember where I went to high school. Yeah. And that's yeah. sad. I'll always have my good friends from high school. I'll always have people that are, that have always been close friends since junior high and high school that I'll always, but I mean, it's like the bond. Like, I think that I hope kids don't miss that now because of the technology and because of the, I mean, we sat around and we talked the guys that, you know, like Keener and James and all those guys that were just still this day will hit it off. If yeah. I, you know, if I yeah. see them. And yeah. they're just amazing people. I think kids do miss out a lot on developing relationships connection. with in connection with people because everything is just through technology. I mean, even us at home, which is actually very convenient. But, you know, I mean, even us at home, I mean, I, I talk a lot with my kids through text when we're all here at the house. Instead of yeah, them nobody coming comes to, to you. Nobody, I hear you which, doing that all the time. You're like, no, you come to me if you want to ask me something. Yeah, and you I come do, up here I into do the room. that sometimes, but a lot of times I will at a convenience text. But it takes me back though. Like you guys didn't have this at your house, I don't think. But growing up in high school, we lived in, in like a three floor. I mean, a three story like condo. Yeah. And my bedroom was on the very top level, and right. then my parents were in the middle, and then they but they always hung out in the basement. So there's this thing. But they had a little intercom system. It wasn't anything that was like in yeah, place we had in one. the wall. Well, you all had a fancy house. You guys had one in the wall. We had to get one. Ballers. Like, we had, everybody put it on channel A. You know yeah. what I mean? So, like, <laughs> yes. There was one in the kitchen. There was one in my parents' room. And there was one in my bedroom. And I think one in my brother's bedroom. So if they needed us, they didn't have to yell. As long as we were all on the same channel, um, they could push a little button and you know yell for us. I, I look at texting my kids within the house that same way. If I need them to come down for dinner, if I need them to come, like Brooke, you know, when she's doing her laundry, if I need to say, it's time to switch your laundry, instead of me screaming or having her come out of, you know, I can just text her, hey, come switch your laundry. Yeah. And, and, but, right. But then, too, you do have a lot of conversations. Now, I will say this about texting and having, like, long conversations, because I will have with the girls. Sometimes it's kind of nice because 
you can go back and reread it. When somebody says something to you, it's so nice to hear it audibly. I get that. But, you know, you can't revisit it. Only if you play it back in your head and it's just not the same. But, like, you know, for our birthdays and stuff, they'll, they'll send us these big, long text messages. Yeah, and I always say I love, yeah. I do, too. I love going back and reading them. That's so true. there's pros and cons. But we but always, we always wrote like, those in cards to our parents, and I know they Yeah, but it's, I know, and they probably kept, my mom didn't. I guarantee you, you could ask her if she kept any card I ever gave her, and I guarantee you, and I'm not upset about it. Your mom's she's not, not a sentimental. sentimental person. No, she's not. She's very caring. She's very loving. She's very supportive. Well, yeah, she's not mean, sentimental. I yeah. guarantee you she does not have any kind of card. I gave her. She probably leaves it up. She puts it on her mantle for about two weeks after I give it to her, and then I'm sure it goes in the trash, which is fine. But, you know, I mean, so there's pros and cons, but I do feel like you do lose the connection. Connection. Yeah, there's like a yeah, bonding. Uh, yeah, there's a bonding yeah. and a connection yeah. of those days of sitting up and having these crazy serious conversations till 2, 3 a.m. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. But there, I mean, there's just like every, I mean, there's pros and cons to it too. So. There is, yeah. But yeah, I agree every, with you. everybody's there at the college having their 20 year reunion, and here we are in the closet. But that's all good. We're in the closet talking about like it. Like we said last year, maybe next year we'll go. Maybe. Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. I think we're done. All right, let's go. All right. Good night. <laughs>